What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today I've got another exciting video for you guys. This is going to be a helpful video for a lot of you at the holidays. You may have family members that are getting new devices, and you might need to switch some of their information from an Android phone to an iPhone, or vice versa. Now my friends over at Wondershare, they have some great software for doing these things, and today they have a new product, Mobile Trans, that's even faster. Uh, than the previous software and it's really really easy to switch anything like messages, pictures, all of your data that you might need between the phones. And so if you do have new family members, you or yourself maybe, that are getting a new phone for Christmas, the holidays, this should make it really easy for you. Now to get started you are going to need a few things. You're going to need a PC. I've got my Lenovo X1 Carbon here. Uh, I do have the two phones of course. I've got my iPhone 11 Pro Max, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And then of course, you're also gonna need some cables. Here I do have a lightning cable for the iPhone. And then of course, I also have a USB-C cable for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So we're gonna go ahead and get started, get right into it. I'm gonna show you guys the software, where you can download it, give you a little overview. And then I'll show you guys uh, using the software live, a little tutorial of how this all works. All right, YouTube, so you can go ahead and grab the software from moletrans.wondershare.com. You guys can see the website right there. Uh, some nice features just to go over really quick. A few easy steps, you can transfer contacts, photos, messages, videos from your old phone to your new one. Uh, a wide range of devices running Android, iOS, and Windows. Of course, we're gonna be doing it with an Android phone and a iOS phone today. Uh, but you can see all the different possibilities, all the different things you can transfer, including wallpaper, apps, and notes, something a lot of people sometimes forget about when transferring these things. All the various compatible devices, of course, the newest iOS and Android devices are all included in that, so you don't have to worry about that. And then they have a nice little table here that shows you compatibility pretty much across iOS to iOS and iOS to Android. Almost everything is compatible. So three easy steps. We're going to download Mobile Trans, which I already have. You can do that from this page. Connect both phones to the computer and then start the content. Uh, so we're actually going to go ahead and do that, the content transfer. This is where you can download from. Of course, you do have a paid version if you want to continue uh, using this, you know, um, going forward. But it is a great product and really easy to do. So it's a lot easier than doing this manually yourself. All right, YouTube. Once you download the Mobile Trans app, you're going to go to phone transfer. You guys are going to see this home screen right here. You're going to go ahead and set up your source device. I do have the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. Get the source device going and rolling along. Now when you do plug in your Galaxy Note 10 Plus, you are going to be greeted with a prompt on the screen that is going to ask you if you would like to allow the phone to manage your data. Of course, you're going to need to accept that, access your data so that you can get this to work out. You may have also accept USB debugging on this device. It's probably going to pop up there as well. And then once you do allow USB debugging, you're then also going to get a final pop-up that's going to ask you about managing your text messages. Now go ahead and hit yes. You can change this back to your default text messaging app later on in the video. Uh, you can go back into settings and do that. It's going to ask you a couple of pop-ups. You just got to answer both as yes. Then the device will be connected as you guys can see right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my destination device. The destination device is going to be the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Go ahead and connect that via lightning cable. Uh, it is going to ask you if you want to allow the device to access your data. And then once it does that, you're going to need to go ahead and enter your pen. That one's a little bit faster than the one with the Android because there's a few more things you have to accept on the Android side. Uh, but the Apple one will just take a couple of seconds to connect. And then once you go ahead and enter your pen and allow it to trust the device, uh, then you'll also be set on the iPhone as well. And then both devices will be connected as you can see here. Now, once you decide what you want to transfer, I'm going to go ahead and transfer some text messages and my videos. You go ahead and select those and then go ahead and just hit the start button right there. And then when you hit the start button, it's going to go ahead and start doing the process. To transfer messages successfully, you do have to follow the steps to turn off messages syncing in the settings account in iCloud. So just follow those settings and then I'll make sure that those do sync properly. Turn off Find My iPhone as well. And then once you turn off Find My iPhone, you'll then be able to go ahead and put in all of the information to do the transfer. So you can see right here, you'll need to put in your iTunes backup password to transfer all the data, of course. So just go ahead and input your iPhone backup password for the iTunes and then enter the passcode on your iPhone 11 Pro. It's going to go ahead and start loading them up. 
your videos, your text messages. It's going to transfer those over, take a couple seconds, and then once it does restore those, uh, you'll be all set and you'll have the data on your new device. All right, YouTube, so that was transferring your data from your Android phone to your iPhone using Mobile Trans by Wondershare. It's a great product, basically a one-click solution. You guys saw there's a couple prompts that you have to you know, choose on your Android phone, your iPhone while you're going along. So there are a few things to click on the phone, but otherwise it's pretty much just a one-click solution once you figure out what you want to transfer. It takes a few seconds to transfer over, but then you're all set. Um, I now have all of my messages that were on my Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Those messages are now on my iPhone, and I also have those couple videos that I transferred as well. Of course, the more stuff you transfer, the longer it's going to take, but overall, a very good solution to use this holiday season if you or someone you know is getting a new phone and switching operating systems. Again, a huge shout out to Wondershare for sponsoring the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon. You guys can also find me at Instagram, Twitter, the links in the description. Appreciate you guys checking it out, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.